Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we're exploring Tomb Raider, and uh, in the last episode, Dr. Whitman joined up with our little group, We've got the block and tackle thingy from that boat over there, so they can hopefully repair the engine, though they don't seem to be particularly busy with it at the moment, and right now we're going to check on Alex, because apparently he's been gone for a long time. And uh, at this point, I have to right away ask, how the hell did Alex get over here? If, uh... Yep, just press E to grab onto it. Yeah, how the hell did Alex get over here if he didn't have the compound bow and the rope to to jump over here and everything, you know? Like, that, that right away is the first question on my mind. Okay, Reyes, I'm getting close to the endurance. What do you need exactly? Alex. We were getting worried. I'm gonna need a breaker bar and the rest of my kit. I can't fix this boat without them. All right. I'm on it. Lara is heading your way. You should wait for her. Lara? No. No, I got this. I'm heading in. Going radio silent. Alex, what are you doing? Seriously, Alex, what are you doing? I like that there's multiple paths here. It's very cool. Nice little setup. Nice little bit of level design. Though I have to wonder if there's anything actually up here. Any collectibles or something? No, no, no. Lord, Christ's sake, jump off. Think, hey, please. And that... Okay, that's just another way back. Little unnecessary, but I'll take it. Sure. Cool. Okay. Jump over here. And then up onto here. Uh, I think... I think this is where we want to go. <laughs> to be frank, at this point, I've... I'm kind of unsure. Oh, that... That's probably where we want to go. That's where... I see a box of salvage over there and stuff. And Oh, hey! Cool. Artifact. Hmm. Singed around the edges. What happened to your owner? Hmm. There's a name on the tag. Millie. Okay. That's incredibly pertinent information. Awesome. Just awesome. Alright. What's down there? Anything down here? Yeah, another artifact. Cool. Sweet. Let's get that. Was this actually used as a headrest, or was it part of a larger statuary set? I'll research it if I ever get out of this place. A uh, jade headrest? What? But for some reason, I doubt that this was used as a pillow. But then I don't, I don't know what that is. Never heard of an item called a headrest before that wasn't used for resting human heads on. I don't know. Don't know. It's a little, a little bit awkward. A little bit weird to me. Never heard of something like that before. Oh well. Hey, can we climb up on this? Oh, we can. Though, uh, she seemed reluctant to grab onto it. Damn. Alright. For here, that's, uh, one way we can get over there. Or we can climb up to the top. Let's climb up to the top. It looks safer, to be frank. Looks quite a bit safer. Ooh. Whoops. There you go. Light that up. That's gonna drop all the way down there. All the way to the bottom. Lovely. Two of three bow parts found. Another... More bow parts? What is the point of that? I thought we just got the compound bow. Isn't that the last upgrade that we can get? I guess maybe, uh... Maybe the... Uh, actually, yeah, I think... I think I remember now that the, uh, the third set of weapon parts that you get don't actually upgrade the weapon. They just unlock, like, a new singular upgrade for it. Maybe that's what that's about. I think so. I hope so. We'll see. 
Alright, let's slide down now. Jump down, what's this thing? Oh, okay, this is just another, uh, a rope post for creating a rope line for us to jump across. So what they say? What's going on up there? Uh-oh. Must be not all the prisoners. Killed anyone in a way. Damn, seriously? <laughs> Who the hell is she? I don't know. They think she came in with that new wreck. Killed Vlad during the round. What? She killed one of the Russians? Not just one. Took on Dimitri and Nikolai, too. Holy shit. Has anyone told Boris? He's running over the salvage shop on that ship she came in on. I don't think he knows what's going on. He finds out the others are dead. Yeah. Glad I ain't on that crew. The big son of a bitch is gonna lose it. I need survive. help! How do they see me? Oh my god. Screw you guys. What? Oh, no, it's not a guy. Was it just those two? I find that a little hard to believe. No, no, Laura. Christ's sake, walk across the beam. I'm trying to get over here. Am I supposed to be able to jump to that? Oh, I was probably supposed to climb up onto that and jump across. Okay. That makes some sense, I guess. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Um, which of these is the progression path? I honestly have no idea. I guess we'll find out. Unfortunately, I have to find out the hard way. Oop. Over here. Loot his body. Like that. Cool. Hey, three of three rifle parts found. Modification available. Find a base camp. I'll do that. I'll do that in a minute, game. Let me climb up here first. And, uh, ooh, we can climb around the corner to do something. Okay, we gotta get over there, which looks like we do have to go that way. Okay, so this is the progression path. Got it. Let's check out what's around the corner here first. Oh. Huh. Can't... Can't do that. Unless we get down here. There you go. Alright, let's see what's up here then. Oh, artifact. Alright. Where have all the children gone? Another name carved faintly into the wood. Coco. Hmm. Hmm. That's odd coincidence. Um. Yeah, okay, first of all, I think it's pretty obvious where the children went. They either grew up and became some of the assholes that we're killing right now, or they were all killed early on. Or perhaps they died of starvation because nobody wanted to feed them. I don't know. Um, but also, that's, uh, I'm pretty sure this game, like, uh, short, uh, quite a while before it was released. Uh, it, I, I might be wrong on the timetable. It might have been very shortly after the game was released, or it might have been very shortly before the game was released, but I think it was... I think it was quite a while before the game was released. This game was featured on the, uh, the Conan O'Brien show, where they did, uh, he did his little clue... He, he, uh, <clears throat> sorry, can't speak. He did his, uh, Clueless Gamer a bit the god damn it I'm trying to mouse isn't working for some reason mouse could you please start working it's not it's not moving very yeah the camera's completely bugged out great fantastic like it's not zooming in at all Oh my god. Just because I fell?
Well, yay, now we got that to deal with. Yeah, whenever... When I turn it to the left, it's fine. No, it's not. Never mind. No matter what way I turn it, it keeps turning and stops for a second. You can actually see it very easily, because it's very abrupt. It just suddenly stops. And now when I aim, it doesn't, uh... It doesn't actually zoom in. It doesn't do that for any of the weapons. Well, I can't play the rest of the game like this. Okay. Uh, great. I guess let's, um... Let's grab some more things real quick. Just finished up the little stupid collectibles that are in this media area. Alright, it just saved the game. It just did a little quick save, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna pause the recording here and restart the game. Let's see if that fixes it. See y'all in a second. Okay, and we're back. And it's all fixed. Uh, and hopefully that won't happen again. That was really weird. Um, that seriously might have been playthrough ending bug right there. I definitely... I mean, I would have tried to keep playing the game like that, but... I mean, it, that would have made it so hard to aim my weapons and stuff like that. And, uh... Quite hard to also do any kind of precision platforming that I'm not sure it would have lasted very long. Uh-oh. Oh, oh hey, where did you guys come from? I've been jumping all up and down all over that goddamn place. Where the hell did you people come from? Seri oh my god, and they're in the exact same place that I killed those other two guys first. And they aren't the same guys. They can't be. I reloaded the game, and the game reloaded me up on top of the tower. There you go. Jerks. Yeah, no, I, I, the game reloaded me on top of the tower. And I had to climb down that section with the little bit, with all the rock walls, to check if I'd, uh, to make sure that the game had, uh, you know, shown that I got the, the salvage box. And I came over and I stood on this exact spot before jumping down the little slidey ramp part, you know, in order to check and everything like that. So I, 100%, without a doubt, walked, like, all over the stupid thing. Those guys spawned out of nowhere. Screw them. Seriously. There was no reason for you to grab onto that, Laura. No reason whatsoever. Anyway. Yeah, okay, we're all done with this. We gotta... get down. Whoop! Whoa, hey... Barely made it. Oh, no, 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 come on. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, the water just completely saved us somehow. That's cool. Alright. We want to look over there, but first, let's check in here. Oh, 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 and yeah, the thing. I almost completely forgot. The thing with the cocoa. Yeah, this show, I'm pretty sure. Long, or, I mean, this game, I'm sorry. Pretty, sh uh, pretty sure long before this game was released, they, uh. <clears throat> they, uh. showed it on Conan O'Brien's Clueless Gamer skit, where he plays a video game and then pretends to review it, but he doesn't actually play video games normally, so it's funny because, you know, it's haha, -ha, I suck at video games, and I don't know anything about them, so who better to review them, ha ha ha, you know? Um, and his nickname is Coco, and so, yeah, I just find it funny oddly appropriate that uh, there'd be a little kid's toy with the name Coco on it in here. Anyway, maybe I'm thinking too much into it. Alright, let's go see what what's over here. Um, pretty sure hopefully it's just an optional area. I don't want to accidentally be progressing. Cause I think we have to be like up on top of those platforms up there to actually progress, but this might be 
might be an alternate path. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Nothing really over here. Ugh. Chair needs to be a bit closer, though. Oh, hey, oh, G GPS cache, yay. Wow. So happy I found that. Hi, crabs. Hi, crabs, you're way too hard to eat. So I'm not even gonna bother killing you. Is that gonna spawn more enemies? Because I made a little bit of noise. Okay, it's just gonna land right there. To be honest, it looked like it was gonna land in the water. Okay, yep, this is just a dead end. Dead end with optional stuff. Cool, I love those. They're my favorites. My favorite kind of dead ends. The best dead ends, in fact. As uh, proven by science. Science has proven... Dude, science is the answer to everything. Except where the universe came from, I guess. They haven't figured that one out quite yet. But the Oh, you can totally get up there. There's a GPS cache up there. How? How do I get up there? Can't jump high enough. Can I jump up on this at all? Maybe... If... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I jump up on this? Sort of. No, cannot. How do I get up there? Up here? Oh, oh, I think that might have been the answer to my question. Maybe... No, 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 no. Shit, there's a GPS... I don't want the GPS cache, but I want to get up there. That is cool. I didn't know... Like, I assumed you couldn't get up here, because it looked like you can't. It still looks like I can't. But... No. No, can't get up there. Okay, maybe from over here. Ugh. This is gonna drive me crazy if I can't figure it out. Come on up onto the rock. Really wish she'd move a bit faster through the water. Okay. Now... Hmm... No, can't... Can't do it from over here. What's down there? Uh, nothing. Hmm. Shit. Maybe from up top. Maybe from the, uh, progression path we can somehow get up there. Kinda doubt it. I already tried jumping up onto that rock. We couldn't get up onto it, because there's a invisible wall stopping us for some reason. And that's weird. Somehow, for some reason, that reset when we reloaded the game. The little, uh... The, uh, the board swinging into place. Very weird. Oh, yay! Enemies. There's no way they would have not seen me. We'll say he lost it. Jumped to his death. But you shot him. Details, man. They aren't ever gonna find his body. God damn it, brother. Why'd you have to do that? He wouldn't shut the fuck up. It was driving me crazy. Sun Queen this, Sun Queen that. All that goddamn praying and chanting. I couldn't take it. You could have just knocked him out. I lost my temper. The place brings it out in me. Yeah. But you gotta control that shit. Just keep your mouth shut about it, alright? Fine, fine. Anything else you two sweethearts want to say? No? Okay, there you go. You deserve that. And, uh, no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Stay still. There you go. Made me waste all my ammo, dude. Not all of it, but still. Ooh, secret tomb nearby. Two in a row. Is this it? Is this the secret tomb? This doesn't look like a secret tomb. That looks more like a secret tomb. Whoops. Nope, there you go. That's what I wanted to do. No, that doesn't look like a secret tomb anymore. In fact, yeah, the objective marker is telling us to go that way. Which means that's definitely not the secret tomb. 
Ooh, ooh, hold up, though. There you go, this is, uh... This is an optional little spot down here. Maybe this is the secret tomb. No, this is a GPS cache. There. We got her! Come on, move in! You're moving! You're Just... There you go. Die, dude. Please. Seriously. And you... There you go. Alright. Let's, uh, scavenge from their bodies and... Where did you two come from? You just hanging out here on the ledge? Okay. That's a weird hangout spot. But I don't judge. Yes, I do. But I pretend I don't. Hey, let's do another Cairn. Where's Cairn Bloodhoof? Is he in this game? I could use a bit more Bloodhoof in my life. Everyone could use more Bloodhoof. Bloodhoof is an uh, essential part of a balanced uh, diet. It, g it goes right there with your Cheerio Cheerios. Yeah, can't speak. Sorry. Alright, this must be the secret tomb then, even though it doesn't look like a tomb. Whatever. Artifact. Hmm. This one seems shaped to be slightly more comfortable. Wait, to be slightly more comfortable. So they were used for people's heads? For people's actual heads? Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. I don't care how they're shaped. It's made of metal. Or, or jade or whatever. 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 That's probably the way. So this... Ooh, hey, locker. Okay. Smash the locker open. Get 65 salvage. Pretty good. No, don't need shotgun shells. And those are... Those are missiles. Are these going to blow up and shoot them? Nope. Apparently not. Why is the thing... That's weird. If I... That... Why does it show a blackened out part where the on the ammo bar? That's so weird. Whatever. Jump over here. Get into that tomb. Figure it out. Get stuff. Cool stuff, hopefully. And more shotgun ammo. So I'm guessing we're gonna need the shotgun for this tomb. If this even is a tomb, I really I'm not convinced. Oh hey! Oh, that's just a, that's just a shortcut back. Whatever. Grab the shotgun ammo because we can. Is this a tomb? Is this anything? The objective marker said to go the other way. So I'm assuming that. Come on. This also had the. Pick it up, Laura. Jesus Christ. Light this on fire now. Yeah, this also had that, uh, the paintings of those, like, markings outside of it. Outside the door. So, I'm hoping. Get another artifact, though, before we go on. There's a picture of two girls. This wallet belonged to a father. The names on the picture, Millie and Coco. I found their toys. What happened to this poor family? <sighs> what do you think happened? They're dead. One way or another. There's a million ways they could die on this island. Guess what? One of those ways got them. 65. More salvage. Cool, cool, cool. Let's climb in here. The shotgun looks so weird from this angle. It doesn't even look like a shotgun. Looks like a weird... SMG or something. Oh well, whatever. The flooded vault. Awesome. And cool, campsite. Just what we needed. Commando rifle. Modify weapon assault rifle to commando rifle. Modifying the weapon will keep all previous upgrades intact. Yep. 
Commando rifle, cool. So does it look different? I can't even remember. Um, we can't see it very good from this angle. There you go. Oh yeah, it does look a bit different. Doesn't look like the uh, doesn't look like the the AK-47 anymore. I guess. Okay, custom barrel rifle increases bullet speed for more damage. Frag grenades, grenades spray shrapnel upon detonation, incapacitating enemies with a wide blast radius. So I guess this just increases the blast radius of the grenades. Polished ejector increases firing rate. Scope increases uh, zoom magnification for improved accuracy at long range. Silencer shots are quieted at the cost of slightly reduced damage. Press F, press four to cycle silenced shots. Okay, cool. We're not going to be getting any of those because we don't want them. We need to save our salvage for the the better weapons. And by the better weapons, I mean the worse weapons because that weapon is frankly more powerful than the rest of them as I've talked about before but we don't want no power weapon the research facility were they sent here to investigate the storms that'd be my guess oh, look more shotgun ammo the power still on how is that possible hmm Probably has its own private generator. And I bet the generator itself isn't in the flooded uh, area. Got to be a way across this water. Yes, there is. It starts by blowing those up. Can't remember, is there yeah, there's alternate ammo. I'm gonna try to use the, the dragon's breath ammo. Yeah, this right here, this is a generator. It's still working. I'm going to try and use the Dragon's Breath ammo from now on, just to see how effective it is compared to the regular ammo. <laughs> more, more shotgun ammo. Great, exactly what we needed. Ignite this. Alright. I think, I think, I think, I think, we need to start off by pulling this over here. few times. One more. One more should be good. Okay, cool. Then from here, jump over there. And can't jump that far. But can we? Can we? No, we can't. No way we can. But we can pull this over. Oh, that's right. There's also something we can do with this. That's right. So that just, uh... Yeah, that pulls it up, but just slightly heavier so it slowly falls back down which gives us a small amount of time to, to swim across okay cool yeah not too hard this here puzzle though we've now reached a little bit of a dead end but not for long we probably have to just pull this over oh wait no that's right pull it this way And then pull that down. And then pull this over here. There you go. Now it's not going to fall into the water anymore. Yay! We figured it out. Puzzle solved. And now just uh, swim all the way over here. And I believe there should be a path back here. Yay? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Puzzle win. You get very good. A storage room. Artifacts from an ancient tomb. What were they looking for? I don't know. 
Maybe just stuff in general. Science for science's sake. <laughs> Jesus, that's twice today that I've sneezed really loudly while recording. Tomb raided. The flooded vault complete. Plus one skill point. Shipwreck beach relic map found. View reward locations. No, no, I'm not gonna. No, thanks. I'm good. If that's all we got, a map and some experience points. We didn't get a weapon part or anything from that. That could have been a bit more useful. Thanks a lot, game. Oh well. Hey, we got a skill point, so let's, uh. What do we even want? Dodge kill mastery? Um, scavenging? Sure. Extra ammo from corpses. Whatever. At this point, it really doesn't matter. All the upgrades that are left suck. But hey, there you go. That was Tomb Raider. Now we're all out of time for this episode, unfortunately. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.